We are now at Tally Student Union, which is one of my favorite locations on campus because it encompasses many aspects of the college experience. On the lower levels, we have a variety of food court style restaurants, as well as a bookstore, which has NC State apparel and school supplies. On the upper levels of Tally, there are a variety of student support offices, such as Multicultural Student Affairs, the GLBT Center, as well as the Women's Center. One of my favorite things about Tally is that it's a great place to socialize, as well as do homework. Almost every time I go to Tally, I'm guaranteed to see a familiar face. We're now in Price Music Center, the home of NC State's music department. I love to unwind by playing the piano and singing in the practice rooms, which are available to students on a first-come, first-served basis. Outside of Price Music Center is Carmichael Gym. In addition to having traditional workout equipment such as treadmills and weightlifting, Carmichael also has a rock climbing wall and spaces for archery. We're now in front of Holmes Hall, which is named after Erwin Holmes, the first African American graduate from NC State University. Also in Holmes Hall is the Disability Resource Office, Study Abroad, as well as the Academic Advising Services, which supports students in the Exploratory Studies Village. Beside Holmes Hall is Student Health Center. In the Student Health Center, in addition to primary care, students have access to an on-campus pharmacy, counseling, and dentistry. NC State is home to three residence hall options, traditional style, where residents on each floor share a community bathroom, suite style, where about eight to 10 residents share a bathroom, and hotel style, where two residents share a bathroom. Freshman year, I stayed in a hotel style residence hall, and although it was more private, I was still able to make connections with other people through the community events put on by the resident advisors. NC State also has a variety of living and learning villages, such as the Women into Science and Engineering, Black Mill Initiative, as well as the Global Village. These are great opportunities for students to have an immersive experience with other students with similar interests. We're now at the Free Expression Tunnel, which is a very popular place for NC State students, as well as the local community to come out and express themselves. Many student organizations use it to advertise. Some people use it to share messages with their friends or significant others. Everyone is welcome to grab a can of paint and participate. We're now in the Brickyard, where many of the buildings are home to the College of Sciences. Also here is the Atrium Food Court, which has a Chick-fil-A, a smoothie shop, as well as Asian cuisine. Another important part of the Brickyard is DH Hill Library, which in addition to having traditional study spaces, has creative spaces such as digital media booths, 3D printing, as well as virtual reality studios. Now we're in front of Hillsborough Street, and although it's not officially a part of NC State's campus, we do consider it a home away from home. Hillsborough Street offers a variety of restaurants and shops that are very convenient for the use of the NC State community. One of my favorite memories on Hillsborough Street is Packapalooza, an annual event hosted at the beginning of the school year where NC State organizations as well as local Raleigh vendors are present and it's a very engaging and fun atmosphere. We're now in the Court of North Carolina, which is a very popular place for students to study, relax, and for some professors to even have class. In this area, students typically take humanities and social science courses. Almost every time it snows, you can expect a snowball fight in this area, and I'm very excited to say freshman year I was able to take part in that tradition. We're now here in front of Sass Hall, the home of the undergraduate statistics and mathematics department. As a statistics major, you can imagine I spend a lot of time in this building. The average class size at NC State is about 35 students. However, in some of those general education courses, class sizes may be a little bit larger. However, students are encouraged to take advantage of opportunities such as office hours as well as teacher's assistance to get the material in a more intimate setting. Behind me is Reynolds Coliseum, which is home to women's basketball, gymnastics, and volleyball, as well as men's wrestling. Also here are all of NC State's ROTC programs. One of my favorite events that happens in Reynolds every year is Prime Time with the Pack, which is an event where we're introduced to the women's and men's basketball teams to get everybody hyped for the Wolfpack basketball season.